the two best teams in the East. The toast of the conference colliding tonight in St. Pete. We're underway. Aaron Guillen back in the lineup for the Rowdies. He gets his first touch. Both teams expected to come out really, really fast. Great defense on one side. Incredible offense on the home side. And here is Forbes. He sends it left. And a pretty good attempt, and it is into the net. 30 seconds in, Riverhounds strike. Popping up at the back post. The movement was really well done from the visitors. Sometimes in the attacking third, the home fans will be hoping that this one will be a good service. Corner on the way from Lewis Hilton. Go short with it. Hilton calling for it back. And Pittsburgh just runs it down. And how about this counter the other way? Rowdy's scrambling to get back. River Hounds racing. Look out. Another shot just wide of that far post. Dequa nearly had his second. All oh, the hands go to the head. Dequa should have finished this one. Look how hard the River Hounds do work to get up to the other end of the pitch on the counter. Oh, look up. All played in. And then A2 just bring into life this special celebration across the league. Go to uslsoccer.com slash Hispanic. Dash Heritage to learn more. USLsoccer.com forward slash Hispanic dash heritage once again. Lewis Hilton head of steam now for the Rowdies. Jennings trying to redirect. Tampa Bay starting to penetrate. Third. Hilton looks up, sees Jennings entering the box, and there was number 26. He'll be disappointed that one wasn't on frame. I understand why the Rowdies are going short on the corner kicks. The Riverhounds are very, very strong defensively off of set pieces. As the flag will go up as Dikwa was offside. Sparrow will be frustrated that the ball's in the back of his net nonetheless. Here they come. Ekra four. Another collision as the ball gets ahead. And eventually Brad Jensen's gonna make a call. And his first yellow pulled out here in this match. To beat a play, you got to change your speed and change your direction. And Ekra does a really good job there. So Rowdy's trying to make the most of this opportunity before heading into the locker room. Off the foot of Lewis Hilton. Good trajectory on this one. As that one was punched out immediately by weight. Armin goes far post. Lasso puts it down. Rowdy's in front. And the ball just to the right of the goal. Again, Jennings involved. And that will do it for the first half of play. One more look. Armin serving it up. Rowdies. A couple near goals in the first half, but still scoreless as we head to intermission. Easy decision there for the assistant on the near sideline to raise the flag. The referee may have been shielded from the contact. Ball played for Kizar gets on the end of it. Here it comes. It's Forbes. Sparrow makes the sliding save. So an opportunity there for Canardo Forbes. And he was just a bit off. Not the connection that he would have wanted on that shot, obviously. Makes you very curious watching the second half of this game. Pittsburgh has led the opposition 14 times this year. In those matches, they've won 11 of them with three draws. So they've got the Rowdies right now distributing well here in the second half. Here's Armin. Jake Armin. Here come the Rowdies into the box. Trying to get a finishing touch on it. It's Dennis. Dennis with the right foot. And the save made by Wake. It'll be a Armin in stride. Does a great job of attacking deep into the attacking third for the Rowdies. And from our vantage point, it seemed like there were lots and lots of shooting. Cal Jennings. Here come the Rowdies. Jennings. Shot. Wait there to save it. Oh, great example there. 
So it's that time of match, a very hot and humid night. Also, Joe Farrell will enter. Number 15, Edward Kiza, his night is done. Nathan Dos Santos heads to the bench as well. Sixty-first minute, just one goal so far in this match. Belonging to the Riverhounds, trying to double their lead here. E2 runs it down. Well, he fits in really well to this Pittsburgh steam. There's number eight. Number eight for the Rowdies is Jake Arman. Here he is. Fernandez saw him. As the ball just a little bit short of him that time. Showing me. The ball is in once more. Pittsburgh has doubled their lead. It's 2 0. Right there was Arturo Ordonez. And the Rowdies now really in a hole. Things was trying to find a way into space. The turnover happens. The ball ends up on Forbes' foot. He finds the newcomer to the game, Shuami. Who knows exactly what to do with the ball, puts it into the near post area. Yeah, Williams tr trying to make a run at it, got dragged down before he could get off the ground. Once again, surrounded. Service in, here it comes, Fernandez! Wait, able to get a fingertip on it, and again, Williams letting Jensen know. And with five minutes left to go in this game, yes, it's not going in your favor, you're 2-0 down at home. In what was a very big match, You're doing silly things like that and getting yourself in the referee's notebook with a yellow, perhaps even a red, will cost your team. Harris sending it far post. Williams, the header. JJ Williams. This one. Well, the ball didn't actually go into the back of the net. Harris, with a delightful ball, served it out to the back post. Lots of contact between the. Here's Lewis Hilton. Ball heads to the far post. Lasso ahead on it. Once more. In the deep corner. Ball turned goalward. Jennings trying to run across the face of the goalkeeper. Wait. Wait. Well, watch it to his feet. Full time whistle, and that does it. The player's shield is headed to the Berg as the Riverhounds put the finishing touches.